going today? <clears throat> Dang. Now let's repeat that, shall we? Uh, how is everybody doing today? Uh, like I said, I think it was yesterday. Um, I'm going to be showing y'all how to sand y'all's off-road lawn tractors and prep them for paint. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to be showing you the steps and procedures that I took to get mine ready for paint. And I still have to do a little bit more sanding on this one to get it ready. But as of right now, it's basically done. So I'm going to go over all the steps and procedures that I did to get mine ready for paint. So obviously, first things first, we stripped the entire tractor down. I began with my flagpole, then took the gas tank off, and then I got access to my choke cable. And I took the steering wheel out and stripped out all the unnecessary parts. And, you know, pulled the seat bracket off and everything. Uh, pulled this out and taped off this uh, labeling on my dash because I don't want that to be painted over. This I really don't care about. But uh, yeah, and I'm going to go over there to the hood and show you all what I did. For so obviously, first things first, we stripped the entire tractor down. I began with my flagpole then took the gas tank off and then I got access to my choke cable and I took the steering wheel out and stripped out all the unnecessary parts and you know pulled the seat bracket off and everything uh, pulled this out and taped off this uh, labeling on my dash because I don't want that to be painted over this I really don't care about but uh, yeah, and I'm going to go over there to the hood and show you all what I did. For so originally, I just started sanding it put together, but then I found out that it would have been a lot easier if I would have just took this front bezel off. So I drilled out my rivets, which that one right there is still stuck in there. But I drilled the rivets out and sanded both of them separately. And I took a razor knife. I can't remember what I did with the razor knife. Hold on. Well, I can't find the razor knife. But it was like a ra Oh. Well, this is a razor knife, but it wasn't the one I was talking about. The one that I modified had this end. Had a little notch in it right there where the tip of my finger is. To where I can grab onto the sticker and pull down. But yeah, I used the razor knife. And got the side stickers off I got all the side stickers off like I said I'm not completely done yet the hood's done but I still got uh, a little bit of the Murray sticker left and the wide body LT sticker I still have a tiny bit right there to peel off and also the other, another reason why I'm not done yet is because these floorboards are not completely sanded as y'all can see it's pretty bad even though no, I don't have to sand these anymore because these are getting diamond plated over anyways. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that's basically all I've done. And I will have another video, like a time lapse, like I did a while ago, of the entire tractor getting painted, like, piece by piece. So stay tuned for that video. Other than everything else, um... An update video on these two are coming to you tomorrow, so when you're watching this video, it'll be coming out that day more than likely, uh, unless you're watching it late. But yeah, I got a table full of Murray parts, and Murray parts scattered everywhere. So, and also guys, with these off-road lawn tractors, save yourself a lot of room, take the safety switches off. This is all the wiring for just the safety switches. Yeah. I cut all that down to just the bare bones and what you actually need. Take the safety switches off. It's the best thing that you'll ever do. Trust me. But yeah, the only thing I really have to do to it now to get it ready for complete 100% paint is get the front and rear tires off. Well, the rims, sand those down, paint those black. Uh, if y'all missed yesterday's video, I'm just going to go ahead and remind you what colors I'm doing. The body is going to be like a forest green, 
The hood is going to be a forest green. The front bezel is going to be a black. The dash is going to be a black. The seat bracket is going to be black. And the rims are going to be black. And the foot, the uh, footboards and the deck level um, piece right there is also getting diamond plated over. So it's going to look good after I'm done. But as y'all can see, I still have to worry about getting me a motor. I'm looking into that. I don't know what motor I'm going to use yet. But uh, yeah, I haven't showed y'all this, but the prior owner to me broke the bolts. So I just tacked the dash down. It's a lot sturdier now. And yeah, I'm going to be running a 6 inch front pulley that just literally perfectly... Well, he was doing it a while ago. There we go. Perfectly fits. See? It's perfect. But that pulley is not very strong, so I'm going to be getting a new pulley. That's just a little 6 inch die cast aluminum pulley. But, um, yeah. And don't worry, guys. I didn't lose the, the light housings. The light housings are still here. I'm going to tint these black. And I'm going to be getting lights for these. Hookup charging system. But when taking them out, I'm screwed up. All four of those tabs are perfectly fine. But I broke uh, that tab off right there. But it still holds in there really good. So I ain't worried about it. Um, Any other thing that I need to go over? Uh, hold on. Well, I couldn't think of anything, so I'm just going to end it off here uh, with these two in the picture. But anyways, guys, if y'all did enjoy this video, please get a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and leave down in the comments that you subscribed and turn my notification bell on so every time I upload, you will get a notification in your email, um, message, whatever. Whatever you have it set up to. But uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Turn my post notifications on and comment down below that you did so. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Hopefully in the next video, I'll have an update on those two and on the Max Ferguson. And the ver and then the, ne the uh, next video after that will be about painting this. So anyways, guys, uh, if y'all did enjoy this video, give it a like. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.